Is your phone buzzing? No, I think it's that gal's phone. Oh. That's a fun detail. Yeah. She doesn't want to answer a movie around, though, so I'm going to walk over to Padre and see what he wants. <laughs> That's fair. So we're back with Endless Mode here. We're heading toward our third thing. Yeah. All right. What do we got? The Null Armor Replica. Neat. So you'll get a full set of Octarian armor from the uh, from the challenges, it looks like. Heck yeah. Very sleek. Okay, so. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, caps lock. I'm trying to teach an old... Hmm. <laughs> Cap, he was typing in all caps again. <laughs> Wait. Wasn't he leaving? Yeah. Uh, but, not uh, quite out then, yeah. <laughs> How do I make music notes? Oh, wow. Oh, man, I'm going to teach him about them emojis. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. does pop up in the art book and a lot of the early art. That's true. Ah, so it's Marina that wanted to start the, uh... Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I can see why, uh... See why Pearl would join up with this. Yeah. This better be on the soundtrack. I like this version. So do I. It's it's minimalist, but I dig it. Very cool. <laughs> and of course it sounds like it was done on like Little Synth DJ or you know, Famitrack or one of those other very like minimalist game music uh production softwares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this munchkin got bars. Uh yeah. <laughs> we gotta get Takayaki, Takoyaki out of here so he can go to that wedding, you know? It's true. Speaking of, let's go pick up our third thing here and maybe we're I we're we're building a blender. I don't know why I don't wanna know why we're building a blender. I remember at one point I was definitely like, no, it could be like a drain snake or any number of things. Maybe we were gonna tunnel. <laughs> I thought we were going to build, like, a drill or, you know, but no, it, it seems very... Yeah, that does, that is weird. It does seem very suspicious and very, uh, ominous. Yeah. Okay, but there's, like... Oh, that's busted. Oh. Oof. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to this section of rail yard, but it bad. <laughs> Pop already. Oh, yeah. No, there's the juice cup. Yep. That's a real big blender. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm really trying to hold out some positivity <laughs> here, and it's like, well, maybe it, maybe it's to blend up all of the bad stuff. But that isn't great either, because, I mean, those are Octarians. Yeah. You're an Octarian. Yeah. Okay. Do not slang that you found yourself. That's a clever little edit there. I like it. Mm. That might be a good idea. Oh, yeah. Because you were, you were fighting Agent 3 from the first game. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we went and conked her head. Right. Uh, nah. I was gonna say, do you remember what your uh, inkling from last time looked like? Uh, do I only get the two options? Oh, based on whether uh, are you a boy or a girl? Oh, I see. Gotcha. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so we get to do a little bit of detailing too. Uh, yeah, but they're gonna have the standard. Uh, hairstyle that makes sense i mean 
in theory, we're going to meet up with them at some point. They probably don't want to have to make too many. Fair enough. They don't have to make too many character models. Right. <laughs> to put the sign up on the phone. I don't know how many other people can get down here. Captain Cuttlefish, like... Have you seen anybody else at one of these stations? Honestly, if you're going to put it anywhere, put it on the train. That's where all of the people seem to be. No are kidding. Undersea denizens, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. No, I get you. Like, that seems to be where you'd put posters. We seem to be the only people hanging out in this section of rail yard. Mm -hmm. I think we might have seen a couple of jellyfish people on the other side of the track somewhere, but I don't yeah. know. Okay, speaking of, let's see. Here. Maybe maybe he puts them up at each stop. Maybe. I feel for him having to redraw that every time, though. Uh, <laughs> we don't exactly have a Kinko's anywhere along these stops that I've seen. True, true. Okay, so theoretically we gotta do the F line, which is... I messed up by not looking. Dark blue as the next one, so that'll be over here. Okay. Uh, we have the purple line to finish off, and the black one? Yeah. We, we don't need the black one. We discovered it and then kind of ignored it. Uh, okay, so... 100% round here. I'll just start... Yeah, we'll just start right there. F Might as well take it easy with Slow Ride Station. It's yeah. a good way to ease into it. There we go, just take it easy. With a sniper rifle. <laughs> oh. Oh good. No, I'm not gonna take just a grenade. That sounds like a massive pain in the neck. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for this kind of stage? I mean... I'm not a charger person by any means, but it seems like being able to get good straight lines is probably not a bad, uh... Oh, I a see. A bad call. Okay. Oh! Yeah, you hit the button to stop everything, huh? Yeah. Well, I take back what I said about it not being timed. <laughs> it's like they heard me. Yeah, no, you're... And... Oh, oh, okay. I mean, I guess it gave you a fair bit of time on that, but I bet those knock you right off the stage, huh? I'll have to go back and see what Pearl said. Yeah, let I, me know I didn't these, either. Let I'm me sorry. know when these guys are conversing, because I'm a little busy. <laughs> I'm just marveling at this new challenge they've given you. <laughs> oh, was that one permanent? Uh, I'm hoping so. Well, it seems like it, because the button moved out of the way. Like, you couldn't activate it again if you wanted to. Oh! And that'll... Okay. There we go. Uh-oh. Ow. Clever. Don't fall off. <laughs> With your metal sold shoes. It's gotta be slip slippery as heck. Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're grind shoes, so you can grind rails. Okay, so there's... I mean, given when all, given the era that all of the references seem to be from, the idea that your character's wearing a pair of soaps is actually not all that far-fetched. <laughs> okay. Oh, you want those co to connect. I mean, close enough. Oh, you missed the Hooray. armor. I did miss the armor. I don't think it's worth going back for. Me neither. This guy, though. Oh yeah, that was that was gonna be a menace if you left him. 
Okay. Oops. Oh, mind the gap. Yeah, no, this this is kind of a mind the gap mark too, isn't it? Although, I will say, I think this is actually more stressful than the Mind the Gap level. Hell yeah. It's given you more control, and all that just all that means is that you're more responsible for your own fate. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, Pearl just congratulated you for getting across. Yeah, she's out for like that. They do cheer you on, it's very nice. Despite their gremlin y appearance, Pearl's just a big softie at heart. I mean, both of them really uh, do a good job of, of cheering you on. I mean, there was a lot of dialogue in the Octo Canyon run, but it wasn't terribly. supportive? Yeah. I mean,. Some of the in-between dialogue was appreciative, to be sure, because you were helping uh, Marie find Callie and stuff, but uh, the stuff in the level wasn't as... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, well, that's Marie for you. All yeah, just, sarcastic. Just, you know, different personality types. Not even, not even saying that's bad, just it's interesting to see how the how the dialogue options have turned out Bomb seems to be the way to go on that one. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no! Oh! <laughs> it's like you said, mind oh. the gap. Okay, fine. You got the game. I thought you had it too, I'm sorry. I'm just glad I didn't say anything to that effect. Like, oh, you made it as you were falling, because. Literally on the tip of my tongue. Yeah. Probably gonna want to make sure to put some ink on that, uh... The right one. Oh, yeah. It's like a weird carnival game. Ugh. Oh. Shouldn't have tried for it. I rushed it. I deserve to lose that money. <laughs> this is a hard one, though. I can see why this is the the last checkpoint. It's yeah. definitely the uh, the nope. gauntlet. <laughs> you don't want a ninja warrior and jump back and forth. No. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, I remember that was the challenge that eliminated a lot of early people. <laughs> I don't know if that actually was all that close, but it looked really close. Mm. Uh, that last jump you did. Oh, it's like everything yeah. started moving like as you jumped off the platform. It's the dramatic tension that the viewers demand. Or something. Nice! Ah, 
Ah. Whoa. That really is kind of towards the limit of your uh, your jumps. Uh... Yes, it is. But hey, we made it profit. It's your tiny marina. Yeah. So, you might notice we've already got all these. Um... They told me you had gone to ground and your rad grood was concrete proof that you had made it safe and sound. Yeah, did She's we know legend. Marina before we managed to, before she got out? Well, you probably knew of Marina at least because... Uh, Famous combat engineer. Yeah. Pop star station, don't stop till you pop enough. Ride along and pop the balloons. But yeah, uh, for, for those astute viewers that noticed that some of these look like they've been played... Uh, we tend to have a variety of fun audio problems. Yeah. So, you know, fun times. We had to spend a little bit of time working on those before we uh, even tried re-recording anything. So, uh, I don't know about you, but I don't remember any of these stages anymore. So, it's almost like <laughs> a fresh playthrough at this point. Yeah. Okay. Man. I remember this stage. Yeah, it's like a big car wash. Uh, except that it's trying to scrub you out. Can't afford to miss. I'm doomed. Charge is a bad idea. Need motion controls. Yes, thank you, girl. What was your other option? A uh, rapid blaster or a squelcher. I did it with a squelcher the first time. Lord knows why I decided to not do that this time. Did the stage recommend this? Yeah. Because the stage jerks and they hate you. Well, I mean, I can kind of see it, but only if you're like, you know. Decent. Well, if you're a charger main, I mean, heck yeah. But I definitely know I'm not doing this stage with the charger. And it yeah, does. I don't think I'm going to be doing this stage with the charger either. <laughs> well, like, I know that this is definitely a stage where having a little extra range is probably helpful. But uh, not if you're me. <laughs> I imagine if I was any good at all at the motion controls, this would be fairly. Uh, maybe not easy, but definitely easier. More straightforward, anyway? Yeah. The only thing I remember from the last time was that, uh, it seemed like each segment of this had, uh, had one balloon that it was always like, oh god, where is it? Where is it? In a <laughs> frantic moment before the door kicks, uh, kicks you off. Yeah. Okay, so let's go with the blaster instead. I'll admit, it's a weapon I really only use when it pops up on Salmon Run, but it's not bad. I just, I like the, you know, the 52 gallon instead. <laughs> I guess I don't do splash damage as much as some. That's fair. Like, I even have a couple of the... Uh, I don't want to say OP blasters, because I don't think any of them are really OP, but some of the ones that are uh, preferred, I guess, in mm. uh, competitive play. So I can see why I did this originally with the Squelcher. <laughs> Cannot afford to miss with the blaster. Definitely true. Better rate of fire than the, uh... Charger? The charger, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, don't... I don't know if that's saying much, but... Okay... Uh, 
<sighs> okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say there. Get better scrub. <laughs> well, that doesn't seem right. The scrub's doing a great job. <laughs> I love my friends. They're so funny. <laughs> and supportive. You can do it. Heck, you have. I know you can. <laughs> I, 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 I actually, factually know you can do this. I don't remember it because, like, I also don't remember what I had for breakfast this morning, so, you know. Ow. Okay. No. Oh. Ooh, they're starting to move. Don't know if I like that. It's not good. Ah. Ooh. Getting close, though. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely just getting gotta, there. Just gotta find the burst range. Uh, I will also directly. say, I think you should spend more time in your ink. Oh, uh, yeah. Just, like, in general, when you're not trying to, like, make a shot. Uh, having a fuller ink tank, I think, would make a couple of these shots a bit less dicey. Because there were at least a couple of them there where, like, you had one shot left and that was it. Because then you were going to have to fill your ink tank. There don't seem to be any convenient reload spots. Oh, come on! No! <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you to hell with me, Balloon. I mean, there is something satisfying about knowing that at least you got it in the end. And that were the pat- were the- and that were the platform differently shaped. Uh, you you might have had it. <sighs> okay. Squelcher it is. That's fair. Uh, I mean, I am not thousand percenting this game like I'm doing with the uh, Octard Canyon. I don't know if you get anything for beating it with the other weapons in this case, other than like more money. Yeah, I've got no idea. Like it, it doesn't seem to have a little gauge that keeps track of what weapons you've done it with. It seems like as well, long as it's you... got a check mark. Does it? Yeah, next to the squelcher. Oh. Well, you can always thousand percent it later. I mean, that's true. If if you find that you're just having too good a day and you want to <laughs> play with the scrubbers again, you know, if I decide I want to beat uh, Girl Power Station two more times. Uh. Good footwork there. Okay, but... No! Dang! I'm not sure when you were supposed to hit those. Uh, Maybe first thing when you came in? If I don't suck at aiming. I like how it gave me splat bombs. <laughs> Lord only knows what I'm supposed to be doing with that. I'm assuming it's the default loadout, and they figured no bombs are going to be useful in this stage. I mean... That said, yeah, I feel like burst bombs are the only bomb that you could possibly use and have a good time. 
at least burst bombs you could use to get yourself ink on the ground quickly. Yeah. Which, maybe that's why they didn't give them to you, is they didn't want you to have It'd too easy too a time. Easy. You know, everyone said that Octo Canyon was too easy. I don't like those people. I did see some folks online say that uh, they didn't feel like uh, Octo Canyon was all that hard either. But then, of course, they immediately have to add some kind of asterisk and pick their own like, least favorite, this stage got me stage. So, um, I guess they feel like overall the difficulty was okay, but they still had to admit that, oh yeah, that stage, whatever stage it was, totally got them. All right. See, as soon as I turn into an actual shooter gun, much better. Cause I like me some shooter guns. I was worried that last balloon looked like it was gonna stay behind the glass. <laughs> I was like, it did hesitate there, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Two friends who are never apart. One's always cool, the other stools. I love them both with all my heart. Good old flow and shrimp. I was going to say, does the shrimp have a name? Uh, probably. I don't know it. Pop but... all the balloons before they escape. Mm, I'm noticing a theme. I like this theme. I hope it stops. Okay. Well, it looks like the I biggest rewards for doing regular splatter shot, but... And that's the one I did it with last time. Which means this one should be easier. I mean, that's what it says. Because it's worth less money. That is, in theory, how they rank those. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think I, I kind of remember this stage. Getting a little bananas towards the end. <laughs> no! That balloon flying away noise is anxiety inducing. <laughs> it's uh it's like the drowning music in Sonic or Yeah, no, it's Or the D leveling music in Final Fantasy Eleven. <laughs> oh. Still wanna strangle the person who came up with that game mechanic. Every time you die, you lose 10% of your experience points if you D-level. Yeah. Unequip all your stuff. Because, you know... Whoops. Okay. Yeah, this is the part where I remember getting a little weird, because you were having to, like... No! So the balloons are actually starting to flee at this point. Like... Out of bank! Oh no! So close! Like 43 of 50. Yeah. I mean. So close. Well, the sculpture doesn't seem to be a bad gun for it, and I will say its its range is better than the splatter shot, which I think has helped me out a couple of times. Yeah. In theory, a single shot will pop each of these. Sure. And then, of course, you need to be squid forming everywhere anyway, just given the speed it wants you to travel at, so you should be getting ink back that way too. There's a couple of parts where I'm like, man, it's probably good that squids don't seem to have bones. Because <laughs> you jump off some tall buildings after a couple of them. Uh. 
But yeah, like that guy there, trying to get away. <laughs> Ooh, nice mid-air hit. Aha! Oh! Whew! Good job, team. That scrubber doing donuts. I thought that one was really going to get you <laughs> on the way back. Yeah. I uh, got lucky there. Just because, I mean, you're so focused on the balloon at that point that I could see it being easy to forget about the, uh, <laughs> the, the return trip. Oh, definitely. Well, next time on Endless Mode, we'll uh, continue working on finishing out that dark blue line there. Yeah. Pretty good progress so far. We'll catch you later.